going to be breaking down a cool little flippy move that takes you from a pull sit into an inside leg hang using crossed arms. There are a couple of ways to go from a pull sit into an inside leg hang, and perhaps I'll do one of the other variations in a future tutorial, but this one is using crossed arms. So, to do this move, you need three prerequisites. Number one, a solid pull sit, where you can hold yourself in a sit on the pole without your hands. Number two is a solid inside leg hang. You're gonna be dropping into this move. So if you ha don't have a solid inside leg hang and you haven't sort of broken that in, that can be very painful. Um, and number three, you're going to need a solid tuck spin or cradle spin. The tuck spin is more of what's used in this move. However, if you have a solid cradle spin, it's very easy to adjust into the tuck spin. So if you're used to the cradle spin, but you've never done a tuck spin, all you're gonna do is take that inside arm up, get that forearm across the pole. So basic tuck spin is like this. <clears throat> Assuming you have all three prerequisites, what we're going to do is we're going to do a basic tuck spin into an inside leg hang from the floor, just to get used to that movement before we take it up the pole. So, as you do your tuck spin, you're rotating towards the pole. Your body's going towards the pole. Once you get into that nice horizontal position, you're going to rotate back in the other direction, straddling your legs out and then dropping your inside leg onto the pole, like so. <clears throat> So work on that a bunch of times until you're really comfortable with that movement. And eventually you'll get to a point where you're, you're so comfortable that you're able to let go of your hands once you get into the inside leg hang. As you get more and more comfortable with that, start to try your tuck spin with straight legs and perhaps a straddle on the side of the pole before rocking back into that inverted straddle. That's the basic movement that you're gonna be doing up the pole. So, once you're really, really comfortable and have a solid grasp of that move from the floor, we're going to go up the pole, we're going to go into a sit. From here, the side that you're going to drop towards, so I'm dropping towards my right, my right hand is going to be high. My left hand is going to cross over. So you're going to have this hold right here. My legs are going to be straddled on the other side of the pole. So you start in a sit. Inside hand's gonna go high. Outside hand crosses over. As this outside hand crosses over, this inside leg is going to come to the other side of the pole. So you're going from here to here. You can tuck in at this point with your legs if that's more comfortable for you. Uh, some people find it easier or harder. There is a little bit more of holding this position if you're not out in a straddle. So if you keep your legs straight and go right out into that straddle, then you can drop into the move a little bit quicker than if you tuck in, then open up into that straddle. So let's give it a try. And I'm gonna show you the side view. So you're here in your sit. I'm going to my right. My right hand is gonna come bent onto the pole just above my waist. My elbow is just above my waist. Top hand is going to cross down over that inside hand. My right leg is going to swing to the other side of the pole. I'm going to straddle up and into my inside leg hang. A little challenging to try and do it slow, so let me do it faster. So in that demo, after my legs went to the other side, I brought my outside hand back up to the pole to help me get into the straddle position before I placed my inside leg back on the pole. As you get more and more comfortable with this, you won't need that arm. You can just go straight into the inside leg hang without, without readjusting this arm. So you'll take it down. As soon as you get into your straddle, you just rotate back out 
leaving this arm off the pole. And there you have it. Have fun with it. And please post these and tag me so I can take a look. Thank you.